Prediction Ascension, love me or hate me, there's no in between. Fair use, Eyewitness News, ABC 7 New York. So they did another crackdown on the shelter at Randall's Island, which they said houses over 3,000 migrants seeking asylum, right? Which is a bunch of malarkey, whatever. I don't give a fuck. So they seizing ghost cars and mopeds. Some of the cars, I'm trying to figure out where this dude got this Audi fucking coupe at, drop top. Are they still in these cars or people just can't afford the insurance and the registration to have these cars and they just gave them up? Or are they really actually going somewhere and taking these cars? This is crazy. But check it out. The encampments is crazy because people feel safer outside the shelter. The shelter is actually like fucking Rikers Island. Even after the curfew went through with fucking Eric Adams. You can't make this shit up. Look at this. Teenage migrant robbery suspects in Central Park to a crackdown outside the city's largest migrant shelter on Randall's Island. We've got breaking news that cops are dismantling the encampments that have popped up outside the shelter. Officers making a sweep late this afternoon. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo is live with more on what police confiscated during the crackdown. Anthony? We shot hey, we watched cops walk out with somebody's backpack. We saw them roll out some mopeds. But, of course, the largest indicator of this raid, if you will, is that the space behind me is now largely empty outside of a few stragglers. This all coming after a pledge from the Adams administration that this encampment will be addressed. The growing encampment right outside the doors of the Randall's Island migrant Look at that shelter fat was no more as of late this afternoon. Parks police and NYPD officers came in to break it up. Carlos from Ecuador, like many others, has been staying at this shelter for a month. I'm waiting to have work authorization and be able to work and get out of here. In the meantime, he's borne witness to an encampment growing bigger and bigger right outside the shelter doors. On a summer day, you'll see folks living and working, even cutting hair. You'll also see leftover trash and the remnants typical of just about any large gathering, steps away from a pedestrian bridge connecting to the rest of the city. I was dumbfounded that this was even able to happen. I call you stupid. I got to Me and my cousin, then my great thing over. What's the mayor's office doing about this? The question oh. one passerby this is what you asked voted off for. camera. The Adams this is what you voted for with a Democratic ran shithole. This has happened in San Diego, Sacramento, L.A., Chicago, um, Dalton, Illinois, with Tiffany Tahoe tenured with her corrupt ass going on. She don't got no migrants over there, but she's corrupt. The same thing with the Be More um, mayor. They're corrupt. They're part of the DNC, the Democratic National Convention. They are the most powerful group there is. I think they're up there next to the deep state, the cabal, the DNC. They can make anything happen or make things disappear on a blink of a fucking eye or a snap of a fucking finger. This is what you get what you voted for. Still voting fucking blue. We shouldn't be divided in this country. It should be one thing in this country. Economy, economy, economy. Taking care of the people that lives here. Taking care of the businesses that thrive here. And that's it. Nobody's allowed in anymore. It's over. This is not the land of opportunity. It's the land of opportunity and pros uh, prosperity for the people that live here. No more outsiders. It is what it is. Continue. Administration has said encampments won't be tolerated. And by late this afternoon, this encampment no longer was. The NYPD and Parks Police came in to dismantle it, confiscating some items and sending migrants scattering. Where did he get these cars from, bro? The morning confiscation of alleged unregistered cars and stolen mopeds right outside the shelter. You know, you got to tow that from the back. Status. We're here to fight crime we'll where drive. we may be, where we hang out, where we live. And for those who try to live outside shelter doors by day, some New Yorkers sympathize. These people wouldn't be here unless things were really di different in their life and difficult. Impossible. So my heart goes up to them for that. Doggy, we don't care. Things are difficult and, and fucking impossible for the people that live here the now. Side of the what are you talking about, you fucking idiot? This is these fucking liberals that I fucking despise. Like, we're fucking suffering. We're hurting. Businesses are shutting down. People can't afford their commercial spaces. The rent is too high. You got people that's been running business for 15, 20 years can't afford the fucking rent no more and insurances because they came in because of this administration wanting votes. 
No, we don't feel for these fucking savages. I don't give a fuck. Stragglers are savages. We don't give a fuck. It's not the land of opportunity for foreigners. It's the land of opportunity and optimism for people that reside here already, have their citizenship, and has been with social security numbers and been born here already. No, we're not doing this no more, bro. Stop being a liberal fucktard. Well, in migrant shelter, there's space here that's right on the waterfront. You can see empty now, a lot different from those images that we showed you. The when it was savages and the scraggles. Look at them, look at them. Has a policy that limits shelter stays for these migrants to 30 days. And some of those migrants have told us that is partly why they are having some trouble after their stay expires, uh, re-entering the system. If that should change, it's been in place for a while now. That remains to be seen. We're live at the Randalls Island Migrant Center, Anthony Carlo, Channel 7. Yes, this administration has causes, and Eric Adams has spoken out several times about how the city is going to fall if they continue to let these fucking savages in. I don't give a fuck what it is, B. You're a fucking savage. It is what it is. He called them straggler, called them a bunch of savages. It is what it is. They do what they can do. No, they shouldn't have got here in the first place. This is a land opportunity for the people that reside here. Opportunity for the people that reside here. That's it. Nobody across the border no more. It is what it is. We're suffering. They take away the black jobs. Yes. And when you think, whatever, whatever, I do what I want. You think we want to fuck a Kamala in the office? Bad enough, she's a scallywag, knee pad Harris. Fuck the way to the top. Then turn around, you want to have all these OnlyFans scallywags running around here thinking they can be president too? Nah, bro. We good, man. Your subscription's $15 a month, but you ain't giving up pussy for a $60, 70 date? Make it make sense, shorty. We, we don't need this no more in this country. Women need to be put back in their place, and men need to be put back in their place. That's it. Men are men. Women are women, XY, XX chromosome. That's it. It's done. You already know, man. Predict the decisions. Love me, hate me. There's no in between. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Help me out the fucking algorithm. Do what you need to do, man. It is what it is.